Bonobos can play Pac-Man, are sex positive, and can start a fire. Face it, bonobos are probably cooler than you. Hi, I'm Danielle Dufault and you're watching Animal Logic. Bonobos are one of the last large mammal species to be discovered by scientists. They weren't discovered until 1929, which is understandable because they live deep in the forests of Central Africa and are smart enough to leave humans alone. The first guy who described them called them pygmy chimpanzees because they look like regular chimpanzees but are a bit smaller. This pygmy title was sizest, and not even accurate really, so the term for them now is bonobos, which is what the locals call them. Americans pronounce it bonobo, Brits pronounce it bonobo, Canadians and Germans typically go somewhere in between. Now that the nomenclature issues are dealt with, let's discuss the wonders of this species. Bonobos are smart. Kanzi, a 31-year-old bonobo living in the Great Ape Trust in Iowa, not only knows how to, but seemingly enjoys roasting marshmallows, as well as making hamburgers in a frying pan. He even knows how to start a fire on his own. The only thing cooler than Kanzi's fire starting abilities are his skills at the arcade. That's right, in the documentary Champions of the Wild, Kanzi was shown playing and getting pretty far in Pac-Man. He was able to understand that he needed to eat the little dots, and when the ghosts turned blue, he could eat those too. But when they turned back to their original colors, he needed to avoid them. Planet of the Apes! It's happening, guys. Bonobos and chimpanzees are our closest living relatives, genetically speaking. Like humans, they are great apes, not monkeys. Bonobos and chimps split off from our branch of the family tree about 7 million years ago, which is just a blink of an eye in evolutionary terms. The three of us are still all pretty similar in a lot of ways, but bonobos got the best deal if you ask me. They look like chimps, but have a higher forehead and shiny, fine black hair parted fetchingly down the middle. To me, they look like men in old-timey photographs with their hair slicked down to look handsome for the camera. Looks aside, their behavior really sets them apart. Unlike chimps, males are not in charge of bonobo society. Females rule the roost. Who run the world? One of the reasons this is very interesting to scientists is that the females in a bonobo group are not all related to each other. Typically in female-dominated groups, like elephants, all the girls are mothers, sisters, aunts, and daughters. Bonobo females include unrelated girls that have bonded with each other and form strong alliances. If they were human, we would talk about an old girls network here. Whatever you call it, it's clear that friendship is an important part of bonobo society. Another important feature of bonobo society is sex. Bonobos are one of the few species that separate sex from reproduction. This means that they seem to have sex for pleasure, rather than just to make little bonobos. They have even been observed French kissing, I know. What? And they also use the missionary position, which is unheard of in non-human species. Even more interesting, bonobos are largely bisexual. This is especially obvious among those female friends, who use what's called GG rubbing. That stands for genitogenital rubbing. I'm sure you can figure out the logistics. It's not that bonobos are sex-starved maniacs. They don't have sex continuously, and in fact, they don't copulate for very long, only for about 15 seconds or so. But they do use sex as a tool to reduce aggression, to avoid competition, and to reconcile after a conflict. Yes, the bonobo motto could be, make love, not war. It's for this reason that they've been dubbed by some as hippie chimps and held up as the ideal to which our species should strive. I think us humans could learn a thing or two about acceptance from bonobos. What animals should I check out next? Please let me know in the comments and be sure to subscribe for new episodes of Animal Logic every week. Thanks for watching!